And what are you doing up at this time of night? And don't you know that the wilderness is unkind to scrappy little mice like yourself? <laughs> no, you didn't wake me up. Honestly, it was a little dubious of your sister to set us up in the same tent. But, given the display she'd seen in the past, I suppose it's safe to say that she's, in her own way, okay with us doing whatever it is that we're doing. <laughs> Good. Quite honestly, from briefly knowing her, she's probably just relieved that you're not entirely hopeless when it comes to social interactions of any caliber. Move over. So, is this camping trip something you two do as tradition? <laughs> I don't know. A lot of families have traditions or something of the sort. Well, it's just a one-time thing. <laughs> Let me guess. It was probably your sister's idea, no? <laughs> I mean, most of the people who are on this trip are her friends. I think I might be the only exception. <laughs> Don't tie yourself into a pretzel just to spare my feelings, little mouse. It's fine. From what my other friends have told you, I'm sure you've gathered that I take no issue with being the pariah. Plus, everyone's been nice thus far, so hey, no complaints there. And what are you making? Um, what's this? Hot chocolate? Where did you- <laughs> You snuck hot chocolate powder out of the house with you. Even after your sister expressly told you not to. <laughs> well, you are just full of surprises, aren't you? First, it's becoming the center of attention at Lake Valerie. And now, sneaking hot chocolate powder into the middle of the woods. <laughs> Well, yes, that is true. Nothing wrong with a few modern conveniences, even if we are in the great outdoors. So, I heard you attempted to ask Arya about me. <laughs> you don't need to explain. I know she's your sister's friend. She and Florence are pretty okay friends too. Look, little mouse, I don't know where this sudden interest in me came from, but don't. Everything I told you is all I want you to know. <laughs> it's not just that I don't trust you. I also just don't want to go down for murder when I break your little brain with the stories of my past. They're mostly horror stories to begin with, and although horror stories are most apt to tell around a campfire. These aren't stories that you need to know. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're not particularly fond of the genre because neither am I. <sighs> Promise me you won't ask any more. Arya is... <laughs> she, to put it nicely, is Icarus. Except unlike Icarus, she'll probably call in a favor and get a yacht to rescue her from the deepest depths of the ocean. Look, just... I know antiquated norms aren't something we like to follow, but for the sake of your own self-preservation, give Arya a wide berth. Sure, casual flirting and fleeting kisses are fine, but don't let her get what's most important. Your head, little mouse. 
Arya has no use for hearts, unless they help her further her own agenda. Your head is what she's interested in. For some godforsaken reason, our little courtship pushed you into the limelight at Lake Valerie. To some people, including Arya, you are an enigma and shroud in a mystery. If you want some semblance of peace until graduation, you do well to keep it that way. <laughs> well, obviously, there isn't anything legitimately interesting about you, other than you're too nice for your own good. <laughs> so much so that you don't mind showing up to fancy galas and sports events with the most popular girl in school, just despite her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Florence couldn't help it and took a picture of you in your outfit and sent it to me. You look good. Although, I would have preferred seeing you in my clothes. Florence is lovely, but her sense of fashion doesn't suit you in the slightest. <laughs> and judging by that flustered look on your face, I'm assuming you agree with both of my statements. I'll be sure to leave a hoodie behind the next time I decide to climb through your window. I may not be above scaring you into submission, but I'm not one to let someone freeze to death. Speaking of which, you're not wearing an awful lot right now. Well, yes, I know it's summer, but it's still the middle of the night and chilly. You're going to catch a cold. Here. <laughs> well, yeah, it's still warm. Did you not see me wrap it around myself up until now? <laughs> Honestly, I think the chill has gotten to your head. <laughs> God, you are utterly hopeless. You're a grown person and you can barely take care of yourself. <laughs> Honestly, how does your sister even put up with you? Come here. Um, here, little mouse. I'm not going to bite you, even if you ask nicely. Bites are reserved for good little mice who know how to take care of themselves, not hopeless ones who can barely adjust a blanket on them. <sighs> no, I'm not cold. I've spent many nights wandering around the woods before. To me, this is child's play. Fine. Get over here. There. Now we're both protected from the chill. Happy now, little mouse? Good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Don't get used to it. You may have gotten your way tonight, but I can assure you, that's not going to be a common occurrence. <sighs> you don't get a view of the stars like this back in the city. Hmm. Lake Valerie may not be a big city, but it's enough for the light pollution to wipe out all the stars. <laughs> no, I'm not into anything like that. I just like looking at them. They... They remind me of a simpler time. When the only thing that mattered was to not stray too far into the woods so that you can get home before dinner time. Mm -hmm. I grew up in these woods. These woods were my playground. They were my... sanctuary. Until they weren't. Regardless, that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy the little things that make me reminisce on a simpler time now. Hmm. I'm sure you have your own form of solace, little mouse. Everyone does. Sure, you may be a shut-in, but you probably have something that elicits some form of joy, no? <laughs> I know when I'm giving you too much credit, but 
I'm also not so arrogant that I don't recognize that even you can enjoy the simple pleasures in life. I honestly never told anyone about where I grew up. No, it... It was never relevant in any conversation. Besides, where you come from doesn't really matter in the long run. It's where you go that does. Of course, that's not to say that remembering roots isn't a good idea, but for me... Other than the few blips in time where I could stop and enjoy the stars that twinkled above me. My roots served as a reminder, I suppose, as to why I need to fight harder than everyone else to get somewhere. I suppose I never stopped fighting, even though it's relatively safe for me to do so. I would thank you for your concern, but you're always so caring and kind to the people around you that you forget to be kind to yourself sometimes, no? Kindness in and of itself isn't a bad thing until it's used against you. Just like most things aren't bad in and of themselves until it starts affecting people. <laughs> of course, it is rich coming from me, but it is what it is. <laughs> You may see me as a token bully, little mouse, but trust me. Like you, I pride myself in being an enigma shrouded in mystery. I'm not nearly as discernible as you might think. Got any marshmallows stuffed away in that modern convenience sack of yours? Perfect. This is nice. Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> you know the ground is filthy, right? I hope you brought an extra shirt or two if this is going to be a regular thing on this trip. What? <laughs> Fine. You're washing my stuff when we get back. <sighs> what time is it? <laughs> Jesus, it's that late already. <sighs> we really should get back and get some rest. I'm pretty sure your sister wanted to go on a hike or something tomorrow, and I'm really not in the mood to catch you if you accidentally trip over nothing because you're too sleep deprived to walk straight. No. Oh? Aren't you afraid that someone may catch us sneaking about? No, we weren't sneaking around just a few minutes ago, but if anyone saw us now, they'd get the wrong impression, wouldn't they? <laughs> I mean, sure, it's definitely normal to see me straddling your waist getting increasingly more and more comfortable on top of you, but I didn't take you to be such an exhibitionist. I mean, I don't mind putting on a show, but... <laughs> Aww, how precious. The little mouse is starting to get all cute and flustered for me again. Yeah? You want to go back inside the tent? <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear it. Although... Hmm... I think I changed my mind. I think I want to stay out here as well. Just for a little while longer. <laughs>